Oh boy, oh boy, do I have an absolute masterpiece for you guys today. We are gonna be, I'm literally honored, I'm literally honored to showcase the first ever world record speed run for Angel Arena. 0.5A uh, at the moment. So it's any percent, so any glitches are, are allowed and you can complete the map in pretty much any sort of percentage. You don't need to complete all the side quests and all that stuff. So you just complete the map and that's defeat the final boss, which is death itself. Now to hell, so you defeat the final boss and the timer pretty much is done. So uh, it's obviously not my run. It is Wolf Bites run. So I did live commentate over this uh, speed run, which is a little bit under 25 minutes which is phenomenal considering the fact that I did personally did speed run this map in 40 minutes. How the fuck does this guy speed run this game in half my time? Can someone tell me? Anyways, guys, just enjoy this absolute masterpiece. You guys got to love this. Let me know what if you guys want to see more of this type of content in the future. But without further ado, you guys just enjoy this masterpiece. The timer will begin as soon as he receives uh, 5k gold, which is going to be shortly. We'll, so we'll see it shortly. Um, so the timer, it's just to, for it to be kind of like, uh, I guess, ge uh, generic, right? So we, he starts off with a little bit of experience. I'm going to start the stopwatch. And here we go. He has his 5k. He got a little bit of experience, getting a little bit of points in attributes. And he's going to be farming a lot. So going for Blizzard at the beginning, which is obviously very important. So you can actually clear out a good amount of units. So that's at the beginning of the game, if I remember correctly, the best heroes you could get are either casters or um, summoners because summons are very powerful in this game so he opted for the virgin Gert child virginia uh she has blizzard very powerful she could he, she could pretty much clear um you know these camps very optimally which is super good so i'm curious to see how this is going to go is there a command to actually zoom out by the way i think it's far or something far zoom don't even remember this is this is already Oh, what? Wait. Only one zoom, I think. Okay, this is pretty much the only zoom I see. So, okay, um, this is, this I already, I'm, I'm mind blown. Not gonna lie, I'm already mind blown. Um, sorry, I had to tab out a few sec, a few times there. But the way he just killed those mountain giants is, the character is OP, yeah, clearly. That's, it literally blew my mind. How the hell did he one-shot those mountain giants? I thought those were, were, were like magic immune or whatever. But that's a lot of freaking, uh, he just one-shot. Because those mountain giants give you a little bit of lumber, which can be converted into a lot of gold. As is, he has like everything perfectly timed down, which is insane. So at the moment you saw him like perfectly blizzard, TP back. He's utilizing his crate at the moment, which he could TP back uh, by casting this a little bit like a recall in League of Legends uh, if you could perfectly time it you could cast Blizzard click the recall and uh, save a little bit of time uh, as is pretty much doing doing at the moment obviously converting the the lumber into gold he got the angel element so you got pretty much the three elements angel um, angel fire angel ice and angel of lightning so you TP it in the center and he's going to through the portal and he's going to go for these uh, tenses which is very important so I guess that was his ultimate. So his ultimate was the thing that killed, oh my God, he's farming two at the same time. I've never thought that was possible. Oh my God, that's genius. Oh my God, dude, we'll fight. Dude, these optimizations are making me so happy. I just see this and I'm like, oh my God. Okay, another thing, this is generic. You place the crate down and you grab the items with your crate. He obviously has that hotkey. So you could hotkey that crate and every time you press the, it pretty much spawns a crate, which you could place on the floor and grab items from them. Um, next up, obviously utilizing the spawn, the Angel Mystic Knight to pretty much clear these tensas, the Imperial Guards, which drop very good items. Uh, Blood Armor, which sells for 20K. And he also grabs these tensas, which sell for 10 lumber, if I remember correctly. Um, quite a bit of damage. Um, they're they're going to be pretty much sold no matter what for the uh, next angel element upgrade. So everything that he's doing is perfectly calculated, by the way, guys. We're around the three minute mark at the moment. He's going to be most likely selling these tensas, if I remember correctly. or sen se selling most of these. Uh, so you can get... Oh, okay. So he did pick up an, a, 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 the Lord of the Arena. Okay. So he can. Uh, so this is what is a little bit unexpected, to be honest. But Lord of the Arena is pretty good. So he's a. Uh, 
Uh, next tier, I guess, character. Chaos damage has, uh, obviously, um, what's it called? Mirror image. Allows him to do a lot more damage. He's going to be going for these uh, bosses that give uh, 10 lumber. Obviously, this is speed run it. This is speed run uh, alone, which is another thing. So if you speed run this alone without opponents, you do not have any opponents kind of to mess you around to mess around with you. So um, this is obviously any percent. If I if I remember correctly, that's what he told me. So there's any glitches are allowed. Uh, but apart from like wall glitches and all that stuff, that that would be a little bit too overpowered. No. Okay, he says no. Not in not intended. Okay, I see. Gets the Blade of the Twilight, kills my Eve. Pretty freaking good. I'm happy about this. Okay, so he also, as you've noticed, killing uh, some bosses with his um, elements. So his Death Knight, which is very important for the run. Um, every time he goes to a specific area, there's a lot of things intended, right? He, so he, whenever he comes here, he kills the uh, Warden, then goes up top, kills this uh, guy over here, which is going to drop the Bottle of Darkness, which is going to be very important for the... Uh, uh, last item, so the uh, I think it's sort of the darkness if I remember correctly, which is the, one of the best blades in game So he kills a lot of these uh, Bosses drops a lot drops his crate picks up the item with the crate so he could pretty much sell them um, You could also obviously um, This crate which is all oh, actually hotkey it for you guys So what's really cool for this with this crate is you could sell all the items within it so you could pretty much drop it um, kill the, uh, I mean, you could time it this even better when you think about it. You could drop the crate here, start the recall, let the mirror image finish the, uh, the boss, pick up the items of the crate as you're pretty much walking towards something else, which a lot of, a lot of this, uh, I guess run can be optimized as you're playing the game, but, uh, he's pretty much shopping effectively. A lot of this game is knowing what to buy because you're wasting a lot of, you know, as you guys noticed, you know, from... Previous experience, I would assume for for you guys, is just Angel Arena or any of these like maps have a lot of recipes, a lot of items, and it gets a little bit confusing to be honest. So, if you know the recipes, the game becomes very easy, right? Very straightforward. So he has Gauntlets of Midnight, which is going to combine with the item that is going to drop from here for the Keto's Gauntlet, which is. Uh, 13k extra damage, a lot of life steal, and a roar ability giving you 10k damage. Really freaking powerful, and I think he's gonna be using that for the uh corrupted god here, if I remember correctly. Unless he's going for something else, which would blow my mind. Again, I didn't see this uh run before. Yes, yes. Okay, you guys, see, I I'm still good at this. I'm still good at this. Like, you got some people might be saying, like, why who are you to like freaking commentate over like a masterpiece like this? But guys, I do have a little bit of experience with uh, you know. Speed running this game, when you think about it, my time is at, you know, 40 seconds, 45 minutes, I think. 45 seconds, what am I talking about? 45 minutes for speed running this game. And this guy argues that he could do it in half the time. Let's see if he can do it. I mean, we're at six minutes at the moment. It's still freaking impressive. Really freaking imp impressive, not gonna lie. So another cool thing, uh, optimization he did there is um, he, he pretty much cleared this wave in a specific area where all the mobs can bunch up and he can pick up the items very fast. That's another cool optimization that he's doing and he pretty much sold everything from his magic chest. Waiting on his cooldowns to pretty much kill this boss. Let's see if he's able to do it. I think that's going to require a little bit of kiting, but yeah, he seems to have enough damage, enough crit. Like, this is very easy. Yeah, he obviously does not want to, like, uh, let... Him uh, or mirror, his mirror images take too much damage because uh, the boss does life still quite a bit from the uh, Chaos Warfare item that he has. So he's going to leave a few um, of his mirror images back to farm as he's pathing towards the next spot, which is obviously very important. Let's see. I'm actually lost. I don't even know where this guy is at the moment. <laughs> he's at base. <laughs> Maybe you want to share control. I, that would be pretty cool if you have a little bit of time. So, uh, it, so he did level up into the Corrupted God. Really freaking good. Okay, so now we do have control over his character. That's very good. So we're actually hotkey his um, magic sword so we can know what the hell he's doing. So, uh, Corrupted God, quite a bit of crits. Seven or 70% chance to do a seven times the amount of damage. Here goes directly for uh, this guy for the Ring of Power. Not sure what he's going to be doing for that, but I feel like it's all about farming a little bit at this point. Wood. Yeah, okay. So most of this is just for wood. I did say, tell him to hopefully not talk too much in chat because I want him to. But he does have a little bit of downtime so he can run around. 
As long as his run is perfectly calculated. See if we can get us, you know, a freaking uh, world record. I feel like this is going to be the, the first one showcased. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the first one showcased. Um, if you guys like this, uh, you know, type of speed run, Wolfbite is a professional, so I'll be uh, kind of showcasing mo more of his speed runs in the future. We'll see if there's other max that we can do the more speed runs. So obviously going for this one, um, giving him, uh, what's it called? Okay, so he actually put away his Angel Element for some reason. Because usually whenever I play this game, I would go for the upgraded Angel Element. I don't know if it's worth it anymore. Um, this Angel Power, which is obviously very good. Radiance OP. Yeah, Radiance might be OP. There's probably like better items to go for. So he doesn't care about these creeps and goes directly for the Commander, which he one-shots for the uh, Master Strike. Is he actually going to go for this guy already? Wow, no way. I wasn't expecting him to g kill this guy as early as that. That's actually huge. So he's going to be going for, I would assume, the the fire, this guy? Is he going to level up into this guy? I'm curious. We'll see. But he's pretty much selling. As you see, he's pathing a lot. He's going directly to... Uh, oh, he's going for the God's Radiance. That's why. Okay. So items, item, itemizing for it. So he needs... Hat, Allergia, Secret Sight, which he has, Master Strike, Supreme Zealot, Armor, and Chaos Warfare. So this guy, I think this guy does drop Chaos Warfare, if I remember correctly. Oh, he already has it. So it's very important that every time he goes to a, like a specific area, he thinks of what does the bosses drop? Do those bosses actually drop the items that I need for my recipe, right? So this is a big thing that Wolfbite is very good at, is understanding that he doesn't need to farm like all the bosses in the game, right? He just got an item that is going to be important for his next set, right? Why fight this one? Why fight the rest ones when I need, you know, just to kill that second one to, you know, uh, to build that God's Radiance, which is very important, right? Kind of lost with this map. Jesus Christ, I need to pay attention a little bit more. So, excellent. I think he has pretty much everything. Yeah, I think he has it. Wow. 500% Command Aura, True Shot Aura, Evasion damage 5k armor 5k stats illidan storm rage for this blade blood Thirst slayer really cool uh, really cool run so these two items are going to be important for the uh sort of the darkness i'm liking this at the moment oh he's gonna go directly for the uh ranger interesting so i guess he's fine because he has the extra armor i would assume still utilizing the keto's gauntlet Sometimes it's a little bit RNG with this game because uh, it really depends on the crits, right? So if, for example, the Ranger gets a lot of crits off, well, uh, he's he could die pretty easily, right? So, But the thing is, what's really cool about this character that he has at the moment is he has Reincarnation. So it doesn't really matter. He has kind of like two chances at pretty much clearing this. Drop his crates, picks up the uh, Ranger Crystal. I'm not too sure what's going to be his next. I'm really curious to see what's his next evolution, to be honest. I would assume it's Titan. I would assume it's Titan. It really, I think he's going to be pretty much picking up a blade and going directly for Titan. We're closing on, closing in on 12 minutes at the moment. So I feel like God's Radiance. Okay, he's going to go for the uh, Yara for her, her item, which is the Supreme Celebrus Power. Uh, here, I think she's very difficult. Uh, usually you want to go for some stunts. So probably that was a little bit closer than, <laughs> to be honest, than expected. You could usually go for um, Inferno, a little bit scuffed, yeah. Just run it, Wolfbite, just run it. You could go for Inferno Stone to just stun the boss, or you could go for a Vulnerability Push to just get a little bit of extra hits. Um, that's another, you know, tactic you could utilize, but it kind of really depends. Drink a little bit of water before I freaking dehydrate myself and die. Um, so, like I said, Titan. I read, I read this guy like a book. So he stuns the boss. I'm surprised that he has enough damage. Uh, I would assume he's gonna summon. Doesn't need to summon Angel Power. It's gonna be pretty close. It's gonna be pretty close. But yeah, this guy has the Devil's Excalibur, so it's quite tough. It's quite tough. So he reduces the damage of the Hall of Terror plus stun. It's gonna be so close. Oh my God! No way he gets it. Oh my God! He actually gets it. Usually this. Hero actually splits. So in mirror images, I'm I'm actually surprised. So he picks up the assistant heart, which he's obviously going to be leveling up to because it's one of the I think it's the last tier hero that he wants before um anything, I'm pretty sure. So you see how this guy is so effective, right? So usually you would spawn in a center, but he 
uh, actually call uh, uses a recall before getting it. So it's all about timings, right? He he, he gets the sometimes it's risky because you could be wasting a lot of time, but he literally just casts that as soon as he gets it. That's so cool. So he he buys himself a little bit of XP, uh, which he needs for uh, the last year area to farm. So all of these creeps do give him, I think, 10 lumber or 15 gold. Uh, fi no, sorry. 10 or 15 gold uh, lumber, if I remember correctly. And uh, he pretty much puts... It's 10. Okay, it's 10. It's 10. So he puts one point into Echo. So uh, uh, essentially he gets the cooldown as fast as possible back. If you get or put more um, points into Soul Echo, what happens is the cooldown goes up, right? So because obviously it's more powerful, but if he keeps it at tier one, which is plenty to one shot these character, these units, right? And he farms very fast. He puts himself in a very specific area where he's able to like pretty much kill these units as fast as possible. And as you're noticing, look at his stats, look at his XP. He's going to be getting quite a bit of XP, quite a bit of levels. It seems like 200 levels uh, per clear. So we're at 14 minutes at the moment, which is insane to think about. Absolutely insane to think about. 14 minutes. Now it goes crazy. Yeah, for sure. So you just need to wait a little bit. So the way um, he's going to be farming, I think um, at some point he's going to be able to clear uh, the wave just with auto attacks. And the way he can do it, um, once he has obviously a little bit more stats, because if his um, max level is 7.5k, so you just need a little bit more stats and you're going to be able to obviously clear the... Uh, the wave with just auto attacks and then clear the next spawning wave with just a soul echo so it's basically an auto not an auto attack reset but it's a a wave reset very fast so he tps back for a uh, I, I would assume for a next item so he could clear a little bit faster or unless he died what happened okay there he is perfect so he went for the uh, sacred protection okay very fast and now he's booking straight for this uh, frost champion i'm just curious to see why though so dagger, he's probably gonna be he's not even picking up this soul Excalibur. Didn't even drop his what? He didn't even drop his set. What the hell is he doing? Okay, so this is the part of the game that I haven't really I don't I didn't even know this was a boss, to be honest. So he kills the Fire Lord. There's no way he levels up into this guy, right? Does he really? Fire fragment. What is what are you what are you thinking, Mr. Wolfbite? I want I want to know what the hell what was that perp, what was the purpose of this fire fragment? Okay, and he goes for okay he kills Polar for the ultimate weapon, which is gonna be used Rune of Fire. Crazy damage. Okay. What did he he leveled up into Polar? Excuse me, since when is that more effective? What? I'm so freaking confused at the moment. Okay, I actually thought he was going to keep that guy and farm until he gets, like, last items. But apparently he leveling up into Polar is probably a better idea. Puts all the points into, like, his abilities. He's very, he's very fast. So he did use Killing Dagger of Escape to pretty much... Okay, now he's farmed super freaking... Okay, so you can farm a lot faster with Polar. Oh my god, what? Wait! Bloodthirst Slayer gives cleave. I actually didn't know that. Wow, that's insane. So I guess the cleave is based on the amount of damage. So that, oh my god, this combines so well. So it only works on Templar. Oh my god, the optimization in this game. This, the lumber that he's be, he should be getting at the moment should be absurd. Completely absurd. Like he's going to be getting so much lumber, he's going to be able to get last year item, is gonna be, which is funny because he's the best use in the end is he really what so fire fragment even in your um stash works it gives you extra damage so what's the point of it need three oh you need three for the rune okay i got you so you need to farm all the gods or something and then you get uh extra damage if i understand correctly three fire okay sounds good so now he tp's back gods radiance calian okay now he's probably gonna be getting Okay, so, so he's building it from scratch. Interesting. I would assume it costs a little bit less than buying the actual recipe. And now he has the Devil's Excalibur. And to the Ultimate Excalibur. Perfect. He should have... Okay, so he dropped this. He's going to probably sell most of these items. Uh, kill Mr. 
Eclipse Elemental. We're 18 minutes in at the moment. Uh, I'm really curious to see where this run goes to. Uh, there's been it's hard for me to commentate over everything that just happened in the last few, two minutes. It's it's almost like so impressive. It's so freaking impressive. Like I love these optimizations to be honest. So I would assume yeah he's obviously utilizing the get the, the the dagger of escape to actually go to different spots on the map to hopefully get the runes. Uh, you know go to the farming spots a little bit. Oh he knows the timing of the spawns perfectly this blows my mind wow that was almost perfectly timed wow that was so that was so impressive that was so freaking impressive so now he's missing one rune if i understand correctly and he's gonna be getting like crazy amount of damage so 19 minutes and 20 seconds in he did summon meltdown so he kills the uh, the death and he summons the final boss which should be spawning over here shortly yeah over here so this is the final boss he has to go for three phases to kill it and he doesn't even kill wait you don't kill the the other guy don't you there's only two phases okay so he goes here and blinks over there that's insane pathing is crazy in this game so he has only two two ultimate excaliburs he could technically go for two more but he decides to offer to only two maltol obviously does quite a bit of damage he needs to eliminate all these totem of powers and until uh three times i think or two times until he drops on the floor and you're able to fight him. So four times apparently, okay. And there's these, these like random zombies that spawn, you can life steal off of them if you really want to. Because they don't, sh they shouldn't be doing too much damage. Um, so yeah, the, the, the way this, uh, the phases of this boss is obviously these lightning bolts. Uh, you have to avoid them as, as at all costs because they do quite a bit of damage. You have these little portals that suck you in and do quite a bit of damage. Uh, so you have to, there's a, a few, a uh, few, you know, attacks that you have to kind of like uh, avoid to the best of your ability. He's pretty much waiting uh, for the next totems to spawn, kills them as soon as he can, and goes directly for, uh, should be going directly for Maltel. As you see, he's taking a little bit of damage every time he eliminates four totems. Um, he, sh he needs to repeat this, I think, two or three times. I think it's three. He says four, but I'm, I don't remember. But the, I see the effectiveness of, of, of killing the dagger of escape. It's so freaking good. You can move uh, towards the um, the totem a lot uh, a lot better because sometimes you would take a lot of damage from Maltel if you're in the wrong spot. So you, it, this is gonna be pretty close. I don't think he's gonna be taking any damage. But yeah, okay, you did take a little bit of damage. But yeah, as you saw, you need to avoid those lightning bolts or else yeah, you take so much freaking damage. So it doesn't seem you take or you life steal too much off of these totems just because I think they have so much resistance or I don't know how it works. But look at this guy, he has like 300k armor, so much, so much freaking chaos damage. I don't even know how this fragments works, he's gonna have to explain to me this after the game, but I think this is the final phase. He has to eliminate these two totems and that's gonna be pretty much time. So 21, 21 minutes, 45 seconds as of yet, looking pretty good. I'll have the timer on screen most likely so you guys can uh, check. I feel like my timer might be a little bit off, but we'll see. Watch my damage. Yeah, damage is what? Okay, continue when I use rune, okay? Go ahead. Is that 1 million at the moment now? Are, are you talking about the bonus damage? Yeah, finish the finish. Uh, go, 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 go for the totem. Keep speed running. Wait. Oh, he's going for this. Oh, I see, I see. So you're going for the next rune before actually finishing the game. Need rune, I see. Wait, in the middle of the fight, he literally goes for a rune. That's hilarious. So I'm so confused. What does he do with it? You need three fragments. Okay. Okay, keep going. Keep speed running. Oh, how does it work? Transmute fragments. I, I would assume that's gonna that's what he's gonna do. Wow, 100 damage per level. Damn. How much is that? Is that seven million da extra damage? Infusion ability. Oh wait, I clicked on it by accident. I was trying to read it. <laughs> I literally scuffed in speed run. Oh my god, the damage is insane. What the hell? Wow, the damage is crazy, dude. He's melting these totems compared to before. And time is going to be 14 million. Jesus freaking Christ. 240 million. Whoo! Sheesh! Watch him melt. Melt to hell.
And this pretty much a final... No way! He kills him that fast! Time. Oh my god! Can't believe he did it under 25 minutes! This is insane! What the hell just happened? What the... Oh my god! I can't... I just... Dude, I, I, I beat this man in 40 minutes! This guy did it in half the time! This blows my mind! Dude, well played Wolf by Jesus Christ! What a game! Dude, I... Dude, I'm just speechless. Dude, if ever you could beat this map even faster, that would be crazy. But guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy this like kind of new type of video. If you guys want to see more of these speedruns, let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.